how come how come when you know you tell me to get ready you make sure i'm sitting up in my chair i got my station all set up and you just chilling poolside i don't make sure you do nothing you uh you roll out the room and disappear what are you talking about <laughs> get up fucking disappear where'd chuck go he's taking a shit what <laughs> What's up, everybody? It's Chuck with Silver Sport. Oh, that stuff works both ways. And we got Ed on the line. Oh, what? What? Did the video start? What are you doing? (laughs) See? Gotcha, bitch. (laughs) It didn't start, did it? Yeah, oh, yeah, it started. (laughs) Oh, jeez. What's going on, everybody? Uh... I don't even know. Oh, I'm, I'm all discombobulated now. See, it ain't easy being on the line, is it? <laughs> Welcome back. Uh, back to, to, to Chuck's breaks here. If you remember when I was in San Diego, it was kind of good timing. Uh, one of our subscribers and uh, real, real, real good, smart, informative uh, sumo fan, Ryan Lawton, uh, sent us in this box of 1997 bbm sumo cards this is the first year uh bbm created a set exclusively for sumo cards usually there was just a couple of inserts and a baseball set and uh and things of that nature just uh insert cards and and other sports sets but 97 was the first uh dedicated sumo card set vintage thick boys from across the pond that's right Lists out uh, 203 cards. Uh, nowadays, the set's between 80 and 90, 91 cards. Uh, how they're broke down, things of that nature. And Ed, uh, in my in my hurriness to uh, to pack up to get the hell out of California, I I, I forgot the letter. You, you got the you got Ryan's letter there. I got it right here. I'll, I'll shake some paper for authenticity there. Uh, Chuck and Ed, here's a box of 1997 BBM Modern Sumo Wrestling for Chuck. Thanks for releasing great content, and congrats on 3K subs. And then he goes on uh, with a note to me. I don't have any cool Japanese cards of American football players, but here is one of Masafumi Kawaguchi. Kawaguchi. He played in NFL Europe for a while. Someone told me he liked Scotch tape, uh, so I secured it well. We opened that in a previous video, uh, and then he signs it, Ryan Lawton, Semper Supra. Semper Supra, and Semper Supra is the U.S. Space Force uh, model. Space Force! Always above, right? Yeah, your Schwartz is bigger than my Schwartz. (laughs) You got that right. (laughs) So very cool. Let's kind of get into this. uh, There's a lot of packs, eight cards per pack, uh, but we're going to try to just kind of zip through it because, again, I have been a, a more recent sumo fan about the past five, eight years so a lot of these guys, I mean, some of the, you know, the, the top ranked guys, the Yokozuna Ozeki, their names I recognize, their highlights I've seen. But uh, uh, again, it, a, a lot is going to be lost on me. So bear with me, uh, you diehard sumo fans. I'm trying to catch up. <laughs> so, oh yeah, look at that. Nice little uh, promo. Showing the cost and everything on there. Oh, I like it with the banners. Yeah, that's oh. kind of cool. Yeah, I'm going to have to get a frame for that and add it to my sumo <laughs> wall. I like it. There they are. There's uh, oh, what's it? Uh, Akebono, the uh, the guy from Hawaii, and I believe Takanohana, who has since uh, has since retirement has had uh, some troubles, family, legal stuff like that. But uh, it is oh. what it is. <laughs> oh, you got Chuck Fall for sumo too? <laughs> Well, it's, you know, it's it's a little different uh, things over there. Oh, look at that. Oh, I like it. I like it. All right, so let's try to, uh, oh, do I even want to open these? I mean, it's 1997. Uh, yes, Chuck. Chuck, you already started the video. <laughs> <laughs> How to execute, my friend. Holy cow. Oh, look at that. Nice divider in the box, too, to keep all the packs separate. All right, so we'll start with the first stack here. Oh, look at that! Oh, and they got a picture of the Coco Geekon on the back of the on the back of the pack. It's uh, located in Tokyo. It's kind of like the home of sumo, aka stadium. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't even want to open these. Come on, man! Oh, my hands like are sweating. Like you tell me with the vintage pack, give them a good bend and crack. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let me smell that. Oh, smells like uh. Backstreet Boys and InSync. 
and everything else, 1997. And, and, and some cologne. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, let's see here. Let's take a look at, uh, this looks like, uh, one of, one of the base cards here. Uh, yeah. Let's see. Right. Here's the, uh, uh, the, one of the base, one of the insert sets is, uh, the Sumo Elders. So here's, uh, Toshoyu Mushigawa, who, uh, looks at one time was a Yokozuna and then has gone on to open a stable or training facility. Very Sports nice. Too. Went from his birthday suit to a business suit. Right? <laughs> oh. Card number 11, active wrestlers. Okay, so in this set, the top the top uh, uh, 40 wrestlers and, the, and 26 guys from the Jurio division were included in the set. Very nice and clean. Oh, and what do we got here? What do we got here? What do we got here? We got a, we got a, a, a gold star card. Oh, this I didn't even take complete notes on. Yeah, S4. Oh, look at that. I didn't take complete notes on because they said these were extremely rare, about one, uh, about, a, about a case hit, maybe just under. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's printed on kind of like a Mawashi paper uh, and with the little gold foil stamp. Oh, very cool. Case hit, case hit. Yeah, I, I kind of... I kind of like it. Hit the button. Oh. You need a button, Chuck. People have been talking about this. Yeah, I'm going to throw that in a sleeve. I could be way off, but from everything I've read, these were uh, these inserts were extremely rare. That is outstanding. Put that joker in a sleeve right quick. I would just like to point out that one of our subscribers sent us a link for a little sumo doll for Chuck's cheap ass breaks. So Chuck is too cheap to buy it. <laughs> <laughs> it would have been coming in handy right about now. Hit the button. It would have really come in handy. I'm going to have to go ahead and just pull the trigger. <laughs> uh, Sekiwake Tatsuya. So uh, again, this is another. They got it broken down. This is this falls in the top ten winning list. Uh, winningest for the year. Top 10 total winners. Oh, it says right there. Yeah. Very cool. Very cool. And very cool. Oh. Uh-oh. Uh, he looks kind of sad. Yeah, he does. I wonder if that means I didn't win something. I don't know. I don't know. Hopefully everybody else can see it because uh, it's a little low for me. Oh, it's dead center in the camera, so. Okay. How's that? Good to go. You're good. You're good. As long as it's 10 cents for everybody else. Oh, wow. That took eight minutes to get through the first pack, and we only got about 140 yeah. more packs to go. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Chuck, keep ass, hour-long breaks. <laughs> <laughs> we'll try to go a little quicker here. We'll just pull out the uh, the different ones here. Oh, March tournament winner. Oh, uh, look. Every one of them is going to have Chuck's attention. Look at him. <laughs> <laughs> There's Takanohana right there. Uh <laughs> Yeah, this is uh, this falls into the subset for the 1997 winners. He was the March. There's a photo from the March tournament winner. Very cool. All right, we'll kind of zip through some more here till we find something else cool. Oh, the Yobadashi. These guys. There it is. What do you know? What do you know? Yeah. <laughs> these guys. There's about ten of these cards in here. These guys are not the referees, but. Um, they basically take care of all the behind-the-scenes stuff. They, they call out the wrestlers um, to the dohyo when it's time to wrestle. They, they build the dohyo. They do everything. And it's actually kind of cool. I happen to have right here this book here I bought a while ago. I can't get it all in the frame because my setup here sucks. Um, it was written by Yobadashi uh, Hideo uh, for 40-plus years, and he has a card in this set I am hoping to pull. So I can uh, put with this book. This is a great book. Gives you a lot of uh, details on the tech, uh, technical aspects and what really goes on in sumo and during sumo tournaments. And uh, I highly recommend it to anyone who wants to uh, jump in. So All right. very cool. Very, very, very cool. See, uh, so what, what what year is this? Ninety seven. Notice how their hairstyles don't change with time. Well, right when you got a you know a, a thousand year old sport, you kind of <laughs> just roll with what works. Yeah. <laughs> America, 
see pictures of America in the nineties and uh, or, and we're a lot, lot look a lot different. <laughs> yeah, well, like I said, you with, with your with, the, with your uh, uh, sync frosted tips and uh, the mullets and whatnot. <laughs> Oh yeah! Oh, there's another. There's the May tournament winner from 1997. Oh, there's the Akebono, uh, the Hawaiian. Oh, point that thing somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool. Oh yeah, I'm gonna have fun sorting through all these and uh, going through and trying to complete this set, which may be a little difficult. Uh, oh, there's another Yobadashi. Calling out the names there, but. Uh, Again, not the uh, not the Yobadashi we were looking for. <laughs> <laughs> oh, very cool, very cool, very. And cool. your sad face again. You get a, so is that like your kid reporter, but he's got a sad face. <laughs> it certainly appears that way, doesn't you it? You are not going to the Super Bowl this year. <laughs> Sorry. Another top ten in total uh, total winners. Seven hundred and eighty six wins. Back in uh, 1972, look at that. There's a photo from September 12th, 1972. Yokozuna Fuji. Very cool, very cool. Oh, there's our January tournament winner in Jurio. Again, the Jurio is uh, the like kind of triple A, right uh, right below the uh, the big leagues. It's a rookie card. <laughs> or a prospect. Prospect, there you go, yeah. <laughs> Oh, there's another Yobadashi, but again, not the droid we're looking for. Well, there's one in every pack. You got a lot of chances. Kid <laughs> reporter, he gone. I'm trying to speed it up, Ed. I'm trying. <laughs> You're being very unsuccessful to this point, Chuck. I know, I know. I can't help it. I am intrigued by this stuff. Yeah. Lucky I, I even opened it on camera anyway. I wanted to just take my time and enjoy myself and read all the backs and, well, Google Translate all the backs, I, I guess yeah. I would say. A lot of sumo elders in this uh, in this set. Oh, there's another top ten total winners. Nineteen eighty four. And uh, it's a good thing we're doing this video today. And Ed says he's going to get it out today because tonight is the final day of the uh, July tournament here. Huh? Yeah, tournaments you know are uh, starting January every other month, and uh, it's a hell of a tournament. Uh, Terunofuji and Hakuho. Uh, Undefeated, they're both fourteen and zero going into the final day. Yeah, and I and I would like to say that uh, there's at least a couple of our subscribers uh, are now hooked on the the sumo. I know, <laughs> I like it. <laughs> What's that channel they're all on, Chuck? Oh, again, the wrong Yobadashi. Which channel? The channel that all the sumo matches are on. Oh, the NHK World, yeah. Um, NHK, yeah. Some people were like, "Now I'm now I'm addicted to NHK, right?" <laughs> you could definitely find uh, find uh, uh, some pirated live streams uh, tonight. Though NHK World app will be live uh, with the it starts about the top division starts about one a.m. Pacific. Mm. So uh, it's gonna be a little it's gonna be a late one, but I am all for it. Oh, hey, he's happy. Yeah, he's happy. You won something. <laughs> He's not sad. He's happy. Oh he yeah, this, yeah. This one's blank, and this one uh, I can fill out my name and my phone number, and uh, yeah. For a trip to the nineteen ninety eight championship. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> well, which one, Ed? There's uh, you know a tournament every other month. There's six tournaments a year. I don't know. You're gonna have to Google Translate to figure that out. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think they have like a rapper redemption, like Upper Deck for old? Uh... <laughs> I don't know. Maybe they'll be at the national. Oh, yeah, maybe. If anyone's coming to the National, we'll be there. I did see some booths with Japanese baseball cards. I uh, saw that, too, so uh, yeah. I was going to... Oh, again! Come on, now. There's there's what? There's 10 Yobadashi cards in this set, and the one I'm looking for... Still nothing. Oh, oh, and here... It, okay, got to take a break here, because now here's a new one we haven't got yet. Uh, again, there's the, the Hawaiian Yokozuna from back then, and they have a Tagata puzzle on the oh. back, just like the Donruss puzzle is and, and, uh -huh. and things of that nature. Yeah. Uh, a, a Tagata is a handprint, uh, of, of the wrestler. And then with his name written across it, I have one original, 
that I bought of Kisina Sato. Uh, he was a Yokozuna. He, he had a, he shot up in fame and uh, fortune and then injuries, unfortunately, uh, kind of forced him to, to an early retirement. But I do have that framed up on, on my wall. Oh, Yokozuna in Showa era, Series 1. Here's another insert that we have. Ancient Thick Boys. Uh, well, well, not too ancient. Uh, the Showa era, I think, was like uh, mid-20s to uh, the late 80s. So, oh, this guy was a wrestler for, it looks like, from 24 to 30. 1924 to 1930. So, revolutionary Thick Boys. Oh, that's kind of cool. <laughs> oh, man, this, this is awesome. i got to figure out how to complete this set. And Kid Reporter, he gone. Oh, 15 Dad, minutes, Ed, and I'm not even through the first stack. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> My battery's about to die. So is everybody else's. Uh, well, uh, okay, well, here's another one, though, that we haven't, we haven't got yet. Uh, the Gyoji, they're, they're, they're the referees of the match. So there's about uh, 12, 13 Gyoji cards in, uh, in this set as well. So very cool. He there. Yeah, those are the yes. referees of the ma of the matches. Yeah, Whoa! Oh, point that thing tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Yobadashi Yasu Yasuo. Oh, there's another Showa uh, era series. 1937 and 1945. Oh. I will say it's kind of cool that all the backs of them have something different, right? Like a, another pitcher. Yeah. It's kind of cool. Yeah, it really is. I'm, uh, I, I am a huge fan. Oh, Wakanohana. Wakanohana is uh, Takanohana's brother. He eventually made Yokozuna as well, uh, I think the following year. Oh, and what do we got here? You win. No, I didn't, oh. didn't win this time, but what's this one? Oh, collection in Sumo Museum. So there's a Sumo Museum collection. I think there's five or six cards in this set, too. Very cool. Painted plank designed by Jinmaku Kigoro. Oh, man. These, this, I mean, these cards are kind of cool. I, I, uh, Ryan, I can't thank you enough. Yeah. <laughs> and if you Google Ryan Lawton in Sumo, he, is, uh, he has written some articles. He's contributed a lot to the Sumo community as well. Uh, for Westerners here, and you can uh, really learn a lot. So, very cool. Uh oh, I yeah. see my, I see a spot for my phone number again. Look, I got another entry. You win. Oh. So yeah, uh, make sure you check it out. Oh, there's another Gyoji card. So yeah, it's uh, it's it's gonna be a battle tonight, uh, most definitely. I think we've gotten all the Yobadashi cards now except the guy I'm looking for. Well, they're saving it for last pack mojo, Chuck. Oh, geez. Oh, here's another Yokozuna and Showa era series. So here's one from 1941 to 1953. Again, Yokozuna's the, the, the highest rank you can get. Uh, back Way back when, uh, Ozeki was the highest. But now uh, Yokozuna is the highest. <laughs> yeah, I win. You win. And we might not get this video up today because... It might take three days to upload it. <laughs> all right, all right. I'm going, I'm going. <laughs> uh, yeah. Musashimaru, uh, again, was Ozeki uh, back then. Uh, he was a Samoan fella, moved to Hawaii. He actually made Yokozuna uh, in 99, a couple years after this set was released. So very cool. Chuck it out facts. Well, I have to because you're not helping. No, but Chuck, you knew you knew what you were getting dead weight when I come in on me. <laughs> Another Gyoji card. Sideburns. Sideburns. Oh, there he is! I got him. That's the that's the one we're looking for. Everything coming up, Chuck. Look, he, he even looks like uh, his picture on the uh, on on the book. Yeah, he does. <laughs> Very cool. All right. And for reasons just uh, personal to myself, I'm going to go ahead and sleeve that one up real quick so I can uh, have that with the book. Now, I'll have, now all i got to do is hope I get a duplicate. All right. Should we do another stack here, Eddie? Uh, yeah, go, man. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? I don't know. I'm 20 minutes deep, and I'm not even halfway through the box. Well, they're all repeats. 
I'm gonna need you to move it around. Well, we don't have to repeat. There's 203 cards in this set. Oh, jeez. Yeah. That's a new guy. <laughs> yeah. Looks like the next, uh... Oh, uh -huh. point that thing somewhere else! <laughs> uh, another top 10 in total wins. 788. From the 70s there, it looks like. Very cool. All right, whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, and what do we got here? Insert. Checklist card. Nice. There there a checklist go. card. Yeah, there's uh, four, I think, four or five of those. Uh, yeah, because it's checklist. only got, uh, it doesn't have the whole 203 on it. No, no, no. And another Gyoji card. Man, I can't, I still can't believe, I still can't believe we got one of these. This, this, this is just, uh. Awesome. Well, you might get another one, Chuck, if you ever get to open any packs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, you win again! No, yeah, look at that. Oh, whoa. Whoa! Man brawler. <laughs> oh, there's the January tournament winner. We haven't got received that one yet. Oh, look at that. That has no writing on the front. What's going on there? It's definitely Akabono again. Oh, it's... Another uh, of the Tagata puzzle pieces. Oh, there you go. Very cool. Very cool. Uh, and another top ten in total wins. And another winner. Yay! You win! All right, I'm moving, I'm moving, I'm moving. I'm gonna get another one of those uh, Sumo Museum uh, cards. There should be uh, five of those. There's another Yobadashi. We've seen that guy before. We have, so that, that's a duplicate, but not the duplicate of what we're looking for. Sad face. So again, looking for uh, another one of them gold cards would be cool, but like I said, uh, from what I could find, the rarity of those is uh, pretty surprising we even hit one. Top 10 in total wins. Maybe it's a, a 97 hot box. Oh, that'd be cool. 97, there's Akabono, we, uh, the winner of the May tournament. I think Very we saw cool. him before. He, I told him to point that thing somewhere else. That's a good <laughs> I think you're right. <laughs> Another Yobadashi. So, uh, yeah. So now I think we're just kind of insert hunting. Yokozuna hunting, which I believe we got, so, but it would be nice to, uh, to have some duplicates, because, uh, I'm definitely going to have to try to trade and complete this set. Oh, another checklist, it looks like. Yeah, how many people are out there, uh, putting together a 97 set right now? <laughs> right? It's going to be, it might be hard, but I know there's a lot of guys in the group that, uh, you know newer to sumo and sumo card collecting like myself that uh that are always trying to fill older sets hey that same pack let off the same pack that was the same checklist we had as well too january tournament winner again same car oh no that's wakano hana really cool man again i uh ryan i can't thank you enough for this this is uh this is awesome and again, yeah, clearly Chuck's having a day. <laughs> <laughs> you made a good day with this one. Absolutely, absolutely. Actually, it's like it's been three weeks since we got it, so you made his three weeks. <laughs> yeah, I've actually been chomping at the bit to get to these. Oh, there's that Nakabono. Card number two in this set. There's the second Yo uh, Yokozuna base card, because there was two Yokozuna in this set, so Takanohana and Nakabono, so another top ten. And total wins. Oh, there we go. There's another Sumo Museum uh, card. Looks a little off-center. Is that Panini? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely a little uh, left to right. Kishimawashi. Ki well, now, that, Kishu now, that the, now that I've seen that Panini uh, video on YouTube about how they make cards, I get it, right? That big old machine. Pushing stuff through ain't very uh, precise, I guess. Oh, and did we get another Tagata puzzle piece? We did. Oh, yeah, it's a good one. Got multicolors there. Yeah. I have to go through all this stuff uh, later and check it out. Uh, 
And then I'm going to have to take my time with one of these packs and open it carefully because I always keep a wrapper from uh, from every... from every. Whoa! Look at that! Lamb chops! Sekiwake <laughs> uh, Takamiyama in the 60s. Imagine that. There's a picture of 1968. Oh, so there was different hairstyles. Well, I think the hairstyles stayed the same, but... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Definitely them sideburns were, uh, 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 what is it, a result of the uh, time and culture? Yeah. <laughs> Peace and love. There you go. Oh, there's checklist number three, which is good because my other checklist was a duplicate. I got two checklist number fours. Oh, there's another Gyoji card. And another Gyoji card. Okay. Oh, ripping the hell out of these packs. Oh. Another Yokozuna in the Showa era. What year was this here from? Uh, again, uh, 41 to 53. I think that was a duplicate. Oh, and another collection of uh, Sumo. Oh, look at that. We actually got a landscape uh, card here, huh? Look at there. Big hit. Oh, look at that. That looks like a really old Tagata. Handprint of Raiden Tamaiman. Oh. 1790-1811. I can I can make out those numbers in there. Oh, ancient big boys. I'm telling you. <laughs> that's friggin' cool. That is friggin' cool. Oh, more Gyoji. Oh, there he is, Ed, your favorite. Oh, point that thing somewhere else. Give me a kiss. Why don't you just give me a kiss that guy? <laughs> <laughs> I'd recognize that a hole in here. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, checklist number one. Again, there, there's the Coco Geekon. There's a sumo museum. Every year, September, you know, my birthday's in September, and there's a tournament in September in Tokyo. And every year I say I'm going to go, and I haven't gone. But I'm going to get there eventually. Bucket list. Absolutely. For Chuck's cheap-ass breaks. Right? Oh. Another Sumo Elder card. Another top ten in total uh, total winners. Sekiwake Obo Obojao, 1975. Got the chops. And that Got and sand face. Okay, last stack. All right, here we go. Here we go. Last stack again, Ryan. Thank you very much. Thanks to everyone who's hung out this long and uh, listened to me babble incoherently about stuff I am not too smart on. Heck, it might only be Ryan at this point, Chuck. <laughs> he wants to see what's in his box. <laughs> May tournament winner. Checklist number four. That is my third checklist number four. All these well, all great, these colorful great. banners are the sumo wrestlers participating in that tournament as well. They hang outside. It's kind of trade cool. bait. Duplicates of trade bait, right? <laughs> that's right. That's right. Kotonishki. Oh, that's, I like that guy. Uh, okay. Kid reporter. He gone. Bra? I think that dude had a bra on or something. What? The one you said you liked that guy. The back of his card. Oh. No, that's uh, oh. <laughs> that's part of <laughs> his Kinso like Mawashi there. <laughs> I'm gonna look like his shirt strap broke and his shit flopped out. <laughs> uh, got me up early in the morning when I was supposed to sleep in so I can watch uh, Day 15 live tonight. Chuck, it's like 11. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, another Yokozuna in the Showa uh, era series. Oh, and a back to back. Here's one. This one, uh, seventy to seventy four. And I think this was the first one we pulled, huh? Yeah, nineteen twenty four to nineteen thirty. Revolutionary thick boy. Oh, and uh, oh, and an, look at that, another one. Oh no, that's a sumo elder card. Okay, uh, but again, uh, as the twenty twenty one. You know, the, the Technique series, uh, the second series that from our last video, here's a, a photo of uh, the January Tournament 3 Special Prize winners, 1997. Very cool. 
Smiley face. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I'm going to have some sorting to do this morning and some researching and investigating because, again, I'm kind of a dork and I like to sit here and read the back of cards. And when they're in another language, that takes me a few weeks. Yeah. <laughs> Top 10 in wins, uh, 81. You're going to have to put that on pause because we're going to have to record another card football card video after this if, uh, if my battery's still alive. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if we've seen card number one. That's our second card number two. Top ten total wins. 1989. Oh, there's another Gyoji card. Uh, another Yobadashi. Still haven't got a duplicate uh, of the Yobadashi we are looking for, though. Mm. There's card number one. See, look at that. Ask and you shall receive. There you go. Everything's There's Takanohana. Very cool. Very cool. Yeah, he was in charge uh, of the stable, I think, when Harumafuji uh, bashed that kid head with a karaoke remote a few years back. What? Yeah, what? yeah, Yokozuna Harumafuji, I believe. I I never would have guessed that Sumo has a wall of shame. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, it's uh, it's very uh, what is it class? Uh, not dependent, but uh, yeah, a lot the the higher ranker in Sumo they 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 treat the lower rankers not that hot. Mm. So oh shit. Now I'm knocking over piles, Ed. Now I know how it feels when you're knocking over piles. Yeah, I guess athletes will be athletes, huh? Uh, you get, a little, <laughs> right? you get a little too overconfident yourself. You start acting like an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> very, very cool. Gyoji. All right, we're getting down to it. Look at that, 32 minutes. And then I'm going to have to hold up the works to go get my X-Acto knife so I can carefully open one of these packs. So oh, I could save lack of the wrapper. Huh? Lack of preparation. It was. It really was. Well, it, it, I, I've been excited. Oh, there it is. There's the duplicate we were looking for. <laughs> oh, I like it. Not too often you get excited about duplicates, but hey. <laughs> <laughs> well, again, you know, like I said, I got my uh, I got my football wall here in my office, and I got my sumo wall, so. Anytime you can pull something that uh, that can make for something nice on the wall. Oh, did this one open nice? Maybe if I, maybe I can just save this pack. If we can open this one even nicer, we can finish it off. Oh, look at there. Yeah. Jackpot! Looks good to me, Chuck. <laughs> yeah, actually, I'll take it. Nice. Yeah. No! Oh! oh! And a special present for Eddie. The universe is telling us something, Chuck. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Maybe that I'm an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> oh, outstanding. Oh, I love that. That looks like a new one that we haven't received yet. Yokozuna from 1932 to 1938. Sad monkey. Yep, sad face. All right, a couple packs left. Again, Ryan, thank you very much. Um, unbelievable. Like uh, I think I was telling you, I didn't think I was, oh, there's a duplicate museum card that we got. Oh, there you go. Uh, I, I didn't want to take on the task of uh, trying to trying to complete this set, but since now I am more than well on my way, Ryan, I, uh, I now have a, a finish out the summer task to do. Yeah, or... The, the decade. <laughs> <laughs> you you know me, Ed. I I, I don't have. in the pursuit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> of Chuck's cheap ass sets. <laughs> <laughs> May tournament winner in Julio. Very very cool. Very very cool. Top ten in total wins. 
1984. Back to, we're going back to the future, 1984. Okay, last pack. Thanks for, uh, for hanging out. Thanks for listening to this babble. Ryan, thank you for the box. And again, check out, uh, you know, just Google Ryan Lawton there with Sumo. And, uh, and you'll see, like I said, real informative guy. Um, always helpful. Oh, and the link that last pack winner too, huh? Last pack mojo. Smiley face. <laughs> on a high note. Yobadashi. Yobadashi. Oh, and another gold card! First and first and last pack! With a smiley face. I told you, last pack mojo. Oh my goodness! Two case hits and a it's a 1997 hot box. <laughs> like I said, I, I, I'm not too sure it's a case hit, but I know they're uh they're they're rare and random. I guess they didn't do uh autos back then, huh? No, no autos in this set. Uh but very cool. Uh, two of the five, I think, that uh, there are five of these inserts. Yeah, you didn't even get a duplicate. Look at that. Yeah, that that is way cool. That is way cool. And I, and I wish you could, you know, like could, you could feel the card and feel the, you know, like the Japanese style uh, paper. The uh, rice paper, huh? <laughs> that it's made on. No, not, not so much rice paper, but uh, the, the what was it, washi paper? Real, real nice. You can kind of see the difference there between the glossy and the paper. But, uh, and a winner. How about that? But again, Ryan, thank you so much. Uh, this was awesome. It really, you know, helped me dive a little more into more recent sumo history, even though to a lot of folks, 97 seems like a while ago, but, uh, in sumo, that's, uh, not too long ago. <laughs> so. Yeah. Eddie, any final thoughts? No, thick boys, man. That was a good. That was a good box. Appreciate uh, Ryan for sending us out to us. Uh, always cool uh, to participate in a hobby like this, and even sumo. Right? It's not necessarily the group we always do, but uh, it's fun to do something different. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, again, thanks for hanging out with us. Thanks for uh, checking out Silver Sport. We're heading to the national, and we'll see you next time. Thanks, everybody. We're out.